ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಹೇಗಿದ್ದೀರಾ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ನಿವಾಸಿಗಳೇ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಟ್ರಾವೆಲ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸಿಹಿ ಸುದ್ದಿ ಇದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಸಬ್ ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಸಬ್ ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಸಿಟಿಯಿಂದ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಗೆ ನೋಡಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಸಿಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಸಂಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ರಾಯನ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಯಲಾಂಕ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಳೂರ್ ಕೆಂಟೋನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಹಾಗಂದ್ರೆ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಹತ್ರ ಬಂದು ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದೇವನಹಳ್ಳಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ನೀವು ರೀಚ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋನು ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವ್ಯೂವರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಟುಡೆ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಇನ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಅ ನ್ಯೂ ಸಬ್ ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಸಿಟಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಸಂಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ರಾಯನ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೇರ್ ದ ಕನೆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಏರ್ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಡೀಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ If you have traveled to Bangalore, I know that you must have suffered a lot to reach to airport, right? Because the airport is far away from the city. There is problem of transportation obviously and there is a huge problem of traffic in Bangalore. Bangalore traffic is quite infamous in the entire country. So we are going to talk about this new service which is going to help the commuters travel. a lot so it's a good news let's talk about that but before that i am your friend rahul saigonkar if you want to follow me you can follow me on the id rahul sai triple 2 my facebook instagram and telegram channel id is same study iq has brought comprehensive smart course for you for prelims and mains upsc 2021 please download the app for more information right let's talk about what has transpired see the first train service has started already on 4th january 2021 this should be 2021 it's new year a small mistake right so the train services started and this is quite new the first train it traveled from the kantivir sangoli rayana station it started at 4:45 am the first train and it reached airport at 5:50 am so this is the beginning of something new the question now remains why was it needed exactly and if you have traveled to bangalore you all must have suffered a lot see if you look at the center city of bangalore the it is somewhere in this particular location you will see that ksr the yellow part here the majestic part the railway station part is the cir- the circle part which i have put here from there if you travel to the airport it is about 41 kilometers and to travel this much of distance it takes hours together see how are you going to reach to the airport if you have a private vehicle then it's fine but again where will you park it in the airport so traveling is a huge problem that is why we see that a new sub urban railway service has been started but before that let's talk about the options available to us i told you that if you have a private car it is very well that you can directly travel i think probably 41 kilometers in an hour and reach very easily but again you have to park it in the airport airport parking charges are pretty huge so what option is now in front of you either you have to take a taxi or some public transport see taxi services are extensively available there is ola there is uber there is a private taxi at the airport also but if you look at the charges the charges hover somewhere between 600 to 1000 rupees again this is a one way charge one way remember that is why it is very very costly in bengaluru now if you don't want to go by a taxi now you have another option of public transport which is quite good in fact bmtc it does a very good job in fact it is one of the uh, few transport corporations in the country which is actually profit making before covid at least now you have vayu vajra service but here also you have to shell out somewhere between 250 to 300 rupees to reach to the airport now you pay the money it's fine but there is a big big problem in bengaluru of the huge traffic jams that you face and because of that there is always a delay and many a times people do complain that i have missed my flight from bangalore airport which is not uh, unusual right it it it's pretty normal in fact for i'll tell you my own personal experience because see when i when i travel from my place to bangalore there is a flight now which has started under the udan scheme uday desh ka aam nagrik and the flight is just one hour flight so i take one hour to reach to bangalore but in bangalore if i have to reach to my place it takes about 3 hours that is the situation and imagine the situation of all the other people who are traveling again where for example if somebody is traveling from hyderabad to bangalore the hyderabad airport is also far away it is about 30 to 40 kilometers from the center of the city so imagine traveling from central hyderabad say afzal ganj to the shamshabad airport and then taking a flight just 
one and a half hours flight and then reaching Bangalore again traveling for three hours. So it's quite hectic. Now due to this what has happened is new suburban railway service has started. We are going to talk about the efficacy and we are going to talk about the cost of the train service also. So what has happened now? A new station has come up on the Yelahanka, Chikbalapur and Kola railway line. Now the, it is this railway line here a new station has come up KIAD that is Kempegoda International Airport Devanhalli Railway Station. Right? Now this railway station is not exactly at the terminal but it is a little away from the terminal you can see here it is about 3.5 kilometers from the terminal still it is very easy to reach and now you must be thinking how will I reach 3.5 kilometers or how will I travel that 3.5 kilometers this is a free service which has been made available as soon as the train reaches whatever trains are available as of now for that there is already a free bus service the shuttle service is there which will leave you from the Devanhalli station the special airport station to the terminal directly so a very good service now let's talk about how many trains are available right now see it is very similar to you simply take a train and reach to the airport as of now five trains have been scheduled two trains they start from the Kranti Veer Sangoli Rayana station in the central Bengaluru central city itself you'll see that KSR Bengaluru city KSR Bengaluru city two trains one in the morning and one in the night which arrive at the Kempegoda International Airport railway station in Devanhalli. Apart from that, there are trains from Yalahanka, Yeshwantpur Junction as well as Bangalore Canton. So there are five trains which run as of now and these are the timings. But I know you are all waiting for one thing that sir, what is the difference now? Because I, I have traveled through taxi also, I have traveled to bus also, I have traveled in my private vehicle also. I know the time now, right? If you are in Bangalore, if you have traveled to Bangalore, you all know about the situation. So you all want to know what would be the difference in the cost and what would be the difference in the time, right? So let's first talk about the time. If you are catching a train in the morning or in the night from the KSR, Krantivir, Sangoli, Rayana railway station or the Bangalore cantonment, it is going to take you approximately 1 hour to 1.25 hours. That means 1 hour 15 to 1 hour 20 minutes, right? Now you must be thinking, there is no use in this because if you start from majestic inner public transport, that is Vayu Vajra, that also takes similar time, right? Fine. But there is a lot of difference if you start from say Yelahanka or Yeshwanpur station. From Yeshwanpur, it hardly takes 45 minutes, which is again, I would say a, a huge improvement over the travel time. And from Yelahanka station, it only takes 20 minutes. This is quite an improvement, I would say positive sign in terms of travel time. This is, I would say, okay, okay, right? But there is a big, big difference in terms of your money spending. Now you can save your travel expenses here. How much money if you travel from anywhere, if it's a normal train, if it's not an express train, if it's a normal train, you just catch it, you're going to pay only 10 to 15 rupees. Here, if you take a bus, you are paying 250 to 300 rupees, right? But now you're going to pay only 10 to 15 rupees. Now, even if it is an express train, although express train timings are still under planning whenever they will be done the express train has to be stopped specifically at the KIAD station but whenever it is planned even it is suggested that the cost would be very very less approximately 30 rupees but uh, still very very less in terms of money though in terms of time there can be some improvement if you talk about the metro services see Delhi metro is world class you reach Delhi airport in record time it hardly takes about 17 to 20 minutes to reach from New Delhi railway station to the airport, right? So we still do not have a metro service, but nonetheless, it's a good start to begin with where you have another option now to reach to airport where you can save your time, at least from Yashwantpur and, and Yalahanka, even from Bangalore cantonment, and you will save a lot of money here. And we hope that the Karnataka government brings more trains. Right now, the schedule is just in the beginning phase where only five trains have been allotted in in the coming uh, time we'll see more and more trains and less and less travel time hopefully which is planned by the karnataka government that's it from my side on this part of discussion thank you for watching jai hind jai karnataka